For many of us ladies, our abs are the most difficult muscles to tone. I am one of them and it is a constant frustration. Well, back with us today is personal trainer Allie McWilliams to talk about planks and show us a great number of variations. They're really endless. Oh, it's amazing. It can just go on and on and on. So talk about why planks are so effective. Um, they're super efficient because you're working all four areas of that core. So the rectus, the front, where everybody likes that six pack. Yes, The love internal it. and external obliques, that little handle area, and then the transverse abs all the way around. So they're super efficient and effective. And the transverse are the ones that are the deep? Yep, and then they go all the way yeah. around like if okay. you're wearing a belt, so it's that lower back area that's really weak for people, which is usually okay. their abs. All right, so we're gonna show you some that you can do anywhere, do them at home. Right. You have a lot of examples, and we're gonna start with the regular plank, just so we have a good starting point. So you can do them either on your hands or on your um, elbows. So what you do is, I'm gonna start here, you're on your knees, you push up into that plank. So again, you're flexing your abs, so not like you're sucking in and up, but it's more that you got, like you're coughing. So that's how, how long you're are you holding? You can sit and go through this and see how long you can go, or okay. you can do these and then add to the next one. And again, if you wanna make it harder, you can always come up onto your toes. So that's your traditional plank, or on your elbow, so you choose if you have weak wrist or bad wrist. And then if you wanna vary this up, if you're already doing planks, you've got some ideas. First, alternating hand taps. So this one's a tricky one, so you're gonna really make sure your abs are in, and you're gonna slowly alternate, and I want you to go slow and controlled, and you don't wanna move those hips as little as possible. Okay. So you're really stabilizing that core, working those hips, squeezing those glutes, that feeling it great. in the shoulders. So it's a tricky one because of the hips. Now you can also do intervals. Yes, so studies came out that instead of holding the plank for two minutes or three minutes, if you come up and hold a plank for 10 seconds and then you come down for two and then you re-engage, but you're flexing your legs, your glutes, your abs, you're gonna get more muscle fibers engaged, so then you're gonna work those core, that core even harder than if you just held it for two to four minutes. And I wanna get quickly to walking and or moving and we'll finish there. So you're just gonna come up onto your hands or onto your elbow, so you're just walking it. So again, using that core, if you wanna make it harder, you're on the toes, and then this really works your back, your shoulders, and your arms a little bit more. I just wanna compliment you on how well you can talk <laughs> and do these. Because if you're doing this at home right now, you're thinking the same thing as me. How is she talking and sounding so good? <laughs> Allie, thank you so much. Great look at this. And we've got some other side plank variations that maybe yes. we'll talk about next time. If you would like to learn more about planks and variations, we'll hook you up to Allie's site at NBC15.com under Newslinks. Have a great weekend. Thanks, you too. We'll see you after.